Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Ultra Halo Genesis. I'm Marzen64. Now again, I'm in an area that I didn't end in because I died last time. Basically, all you gotta do is go down, down, and then right, and you'll show up where I am. It's pretty much, pretty much my exploration. And in here's the boss, who's actually surprisingly easy. I did test against her and... You, you, let's, you'll see. I did a little bit of grinding too, but th to be honest, this is only like an hour after my last video. You've done well to make it this far. However, this is the end of your charades. I'll stop you here myself. Is what Gal suggested I say if you manage to get here. Yeah, yeah, you reoccurring boss types always say that. Is what Scott told me to reply with if you had anything to say. He had a second message as well, but I decided it was pointless utterance to convey. In any case, shall we? Of course. Anyway, I've witnessed your abilities. I won't underestimate you again. And then she goes Super Saiyan! Actually, Gald went Super Saiyan. I forgot to make that joke last time. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and start off the battle. First thing you want to do is, uh, realize she has a very interesting attack pattern. Basically, I'm going to want these two to attack, and Indy will heal. Her attacks are actually very weak and won't be enough to really kill anyone if Indy is healing. Never mind. Apparently that one kills Indy first shot. Well, she rarely does that one on Indy. Um, let's revive Indy really quickly. Her abilities is are weird, but interesting. Where the hell's my revivants? I'll tell you what they do in a second. Basically, she steals one EX from everyone, like that and then does an attack on someone. Thankfully, she chose to do the worst attack on Dread and dealt like 8 damage to him. So now, Indy will be healing, because she can't really keep up. So she's just going to be healing right now, I suppose. Throw a... Throw a Psycho Round in there. Jesus! <laughs> that did a lot of damage. And the other two will be attacking, because they have enough, uh... spawnage to create enough damage output. Basically, I like to have Dread use Ravage, which deals 2,500 damage, and Jake deals about 2,000 damage using his, uh, Electricity Attack, which he should be able to do this time. Voltage Dial, which is actually a very nice attack and deals good amounts of damage, so Jake is actually pretty good. He's a little bit flimsy, but at the same time, he's pretty good. Stop doing that! <laughs> uh, I found out a good way to use Dread, like if you're not in a battle where someone steals your EX. Basically, I'm not going to be able to use my EX attacks is the way this works out. And I just don't move fast enough to get a high enough EX for her to not steal it. So, oof, ouch. <laughs> just ravage, have one health. And then heal. So, basically, what I do with uh, him is I will attack using his normal punch, and then I will use him to heal someone. And then, stop that! You didn't do that at all during the test. Come on, now. And then, he'll instantly have his EX attack, which is actually an amazing EX attack that deals like 4,000 damage to everything. So, yes, it's very good, and I would advise you use it. Go ahead and use a stim field. This is doing going a lot worse than it did last time, I have to admit. Like, let's use Revivant on her. And as you can see, he can currently use his EX attack, but she's going to steal his EX, so he's not going to be able to. But if I weren't, then he'd just consistently, like every three rounds, deal out 4,000 damage to everyone. Ooh, I've never seen her use that ability. But he gains enough EX quick enough so that uh, Ravage can work very well. Dread seems like a very good person, as a matter of fact. He, he consistently, as you can see, can deal 2,000 damage every single turn. He deals a little bit of damage to himself, but it's really nothing to be worried about. And he has good defense, 
he's consistently a good character. The only problem is, he's an asshole. In fact, let's boost his attack. <laughs> Why not? I should have boosted everyone before I came in here. I have enough of those boosters. Go ahead and ravage. Let's see how much damage you do now. Ooh, Jesus! <laughs> wow, that is a lot. Holy Batman. Alright, I can go for that. I really need to use those boosters from now on. They're there to be used. Might as well. And they don't really cost much in the shop, if I remember correctly. Maybe I'll use it on uh, Jake as well. Ravage for 5,000 damage. Use a booster on Jake. Uh, attack booster on Jake. Ooh, nearly killed Indy there. Let's see how much damage he can do now. He, used, he did about 1,700. 2,000. Eh, not nearly as a jump as Dread, who got his, like, two times the amount of what he used to do. And Ravage. Yeah! All done. That was a good fight. I'll admit that one. That was much better than last time. Target terminated! Everyone leveled up. This is the second time you've thwarted us. Why are you do going this far? Now that Cougar's gone, there's no, no longer reason for you to fight. There's no need to explain our intentions to you. As the victors of this fight, it would be more appropriate for you to answer to our inquiries. There's nothing to hide about our actions here. We've merely reopened explorations of this area below Sarah City. Despite the fact that the Rebellion's been in power for only a number of weeks? Forgive me, it seems rather early for Hawk to be conducting investigative operations. Perhaps administration of the city is not as difficult a matter as I originally thought. Very well. I had wanted to avoid mentioning this, but I suppose it's unavoidable. I could just lie, but you know. There's rumor that Cougar is currently still alive somewhere in this area. If this is true, then we need to take this chance to capture him before he can return to power. Otherwise, it could mean another war, and that's the reason we're here. At the same time, like I've stated, we're also exploring this area and salvaging anything usable. Will that answer suffice? No, I'm afraid it will not. After all, a simple investigation does not normally require such excessive measures. For example, the curfew is set in place, the full-time deployment of so many of these advanced war mechs, not to mention both yours and Gald's presence here. What about us being here? If you're really only acting on a rumor, wouldn't, there wouldn't be a need for both of the Rebellion's generals to be involved. Seems like a lot of trouble for just an investigation, doesn't it? Well, he did say there was cougar down- she did say there was cougar down here. Nothing gets past you, does it? Unfortunately, that's all I know. Not even I'm sure anymore what Hawk is planning. So, even you do not know the reason for this operation. Does it not strike you as suspicious? I will admit, things have changed greatly in the past month, when the Rebellion successfully overthrew Kruger's rule. Since that day, Hawk has not been himself. We'll let you go for now. <laughs> Cause you kill- you nearly- you can kill us right now, but, you know, we'll let you go. There's matters that need investigating. Well, thank you. I feel so obliged. And now we're playing as Eren. I keep forgetting her name. Oh boy, a Tinderbot! I think I know what we're doing! It's time for another boss battle. Let's buy things. I can use some more stimulants. Um... Revivants? I won't need any if I'm the only one in this battle, but... Oh, I need to sell things, because I'm completely out of money. But I do have a lot of, uh... Good parts here to sell, and they sell for a lot! Alright. Thank you. You're welcome, Tinderbot. I will save... Let's continue on to a boss battle. I can see it now, Aaron. I've been wrong all along. This is where I need to be. I've never felt more certain of this in my entire life. It's like a veil was lifted from my eyes. Everything's so much clearer now. Well, I see all this has certainly made you more talkative. 
I didn't know you were so sentimental. It's a nice change to your usual, usual demeanor, but do you think you could stop being so creepy while you're at it? Why don't you join us, Aaron? You'll die if you continue to resist her. You'll lose everything you hold dear, and you'll have nothing to gain. But if you join us, you'll be saved. You be, you'll be able to live in peace. Indy will be able to have a normal childhood, and most of all, you'll be able to reunite with your father. Yes, he's here as well. If you wish, I can take you to him. How about it? Will you join us? So you're gone this far. Really, I'm quite disappointed. Can't you at least try to resist her brainwashing? What do you mean? I know it might not seem like it, but I'm really doing this of my own free will. There's nothing I'd want more than to follow her. Then I'll have to beat some sense into you also of my own free will. Prepare yourself. Let me turn up the music. Whoop. Yeah! Because this sounds really awesome. Ah, it's this music. I recognize this music. Except it's a remix. Have I ever mentioned I really like this song? Oh, damn it! I just realized I didn't... I didn't give her anything. <laughs> she doesn't have any ability or any... mode or anything. Oops. Okay. Let's let's retry that. That was a little anticlimactic. Prepare yourself. Oh, God, I'm dead. Okay, let's... Let's give you... One second, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I had to go look at what I had for her before, because I didn't exactly remember. Um, I gave her Psychic and Freeze, and Pulsar. Because she heals herself, so the negative 10 doesn't really matter too much. Um, also, I'm planning on using Bolsters, because that worked really well last time. So, uh, let's try that. Let's go through the epic cutscene one more time. I can feel it! I've been wrong all along! Okay, I'm not doing that. Skip through it. I see! I see this! <laughs> oh, lordy. Yes, yes, Mr. Longneck. Come on. <laughs> I'm not going to join you, because you are brainwashed and evil now. I don't know why I'm suddenly talking like this. Prepare yourself. Where's my bolsters? Wait. Oh, I don't think they... They don't stack, I don't think. Oh, well. That is unfortunate! Wow, that really jumped up her HP, though. Lordy. Alright, well, um... Let me just use the... Attack bolster then. This might kill him, but uh oh maybe it maybe they do. Jesus, yeah, that killed her. Let's try this again. <laughs> Alright, don't worry, I'll get this eventually. I hate how every single time I have to redo the cutscene though. I kinda wish you could skip cutscenes. Maybe you can. Let's see, let me just press a bunch of buttons. No. No. Oh well. That is unfortunate. But that's the case for many games. God, I remember Kingdom Hearts. Like, there was one cutscene at like the very end of the game. Right before you fought that guy who was your friend when you were a kid. I forget his name. Um, there was Kaylee, Sora, and then someone else. I can't remember. Anyway, that cutscene... I saw that cutscene like 20 times and it was so long. I hated that cutscene by the end of it. Let's just use a speed bolster right now. Please don't kill me. Thank you. Oh, hey, it revives people. I didn't know it did that.
Let me also use a uh, guard bolster. And I think that should be good. Now just kick his ass. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm dead. Ugh. Okay. Don't attack twice. New rule. New rule. Don't worry, I'll get this. I'll get this! I got this, guys. I got this. <laughs> Kinda wish you could set up a booster before. Oh, crap. One second. My apologies. Someone keeps talk like, a friend of mine is trying to get into Dwarf Fortress, and ever since I started the Let's Play of Dwarf Fortress, like, three years ago, I've been the person for a lot of people to go to for Dwarf Fortress, which is fine. I'm always willing to help out, but half the time, you know, it's just like, can't you make it easier to understand? No, I can't. That's the way the game works. Eh, this guy's being, this guy's being good, though. He seems to understand it now, at least. Although, he's not good, but he did just start, like, yesterday. <laughs> Whatever. Let's continue. First bolster will be the speed booster. And then attack booster. And then first aid yourself. I should have first aided myself after he attacked me, but... And again, I should have first aided myself after he attacked me. But it doesn't matter. Because <laughs> I'm keeping alive. <laughs> Keep it alive. Wait, what? Negative HP? When did that happen? It must have been some something he put on me. I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. I'm Christopher Walken. And I have the best Christopher Walken impersonation. You've ever oh Jesus! How how am I supposed to survive that? I don't even know. I don't even know. Okay, if he does like two thousand damage, I think that's impossible. Why am I Christopher Walken? If he does two thousand damage, I think it's impossible to live. <laughs> I'd have to have full health. That seems very difficult. And I don't think I can go grind either. Oh wait, I can grind in here. Who can I kill? Oh boy, this would be fun grinding, wouldn't it, guys? Ho <laughs> oh, ho, frap just day. Uh, I guess I might as well do it, though. Gonna have to. I'm not. I'm not doing this on screen, though. Don't. Don't worry about that. If I do grind, I'll have to do it off screen. But for right now, I think I'm going to end the video. We've attempted the battle, like, three or four times. So, uh, although the first time was completely a fluke. Uh, I still find that hilarious how I did that. Whatever. This guy won't die. Let me try to sniper you. How much will that do? That doesn't seem to crush you. I thought that's what they did, though. Inflicts AP crush. Yeah, crush him. Oh, it did crush him. Okay. I think I'll use the cr the uh, sniper instead then. Laser caution. Laser caution. Laser caution. Laser caution. Laser. Okay, that's enough of that. I haven't seen that show in ages. <coughs> Excusez-moi, Mademoiselle. man was out. He's apparently not able to do anything anymore. I think I've AP crushed him to death. To death, bro. That is funny. I didn't know that was possible. But unfortunately, I do so little damage, it doesn't even matter. F 
400 damage. I probably shouldn't have used that grenade, so I could have used it on blue to deal an unbelievable amount of damage, and maybe then it would help me win. Because I could have won without that grenade. I mean, yes, it would have taken me like four more turns, but eh. Level 35 gain. Only have to do that 20,000 more times. Okay, thank you all for watching. See you all next time. I'm going to keep working on trying to get blue down. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.